So, Unify sent me this. This is the Unify Access Starter Kit and this model code UA-SK-US. Um, is this for, um, you know, like with your swipe card, opening doors and stuff. And um, I'm going to install it actually on that door. But let's just first, just have a look what's actually what we get as part of the starter kit. So I'll just open it here. So, always nicely packaged as most Unify products are. What have we got? All right, so. Aha, little magnet thing. That's quite nice. Oh, right, look at that. So this is the control unit. Um, I'm not sure what all these things do, but we'll find that out. Uh, this is the pro access point. So that's a screen with a camera in it. Also it works as a doorbell if you have the right equipment. And that's the uh, more basic, whatever that's called. Mm, that's the basic um, door swipe thing. So I'm gonna be using uh, that on the outside of the door out here. And this is gonna, I'm probably gonna put it in my server cabinet, which is just there because I don't really want that on the wall. It's not particularly pretty. Um, but let me just take it out so you can see it. So here's the, uh, the pro unit. And that has, oh, that's quite nice. It has a little, um, you know, install, install it through the wall. You put a LAN cable through from the other side, plug it in, Bob's your uncle. Um, put that back in there, or maybe not. Ah, uh, oh, also has a little um, spirit level. That's the similar idea with the simple one, but it just doesn't have the screen on it. You can swipe a card on it. Speaking of swiping cards, there's 20 of them in here. So there's 20 swipe cards that you can, I'm assuming, program somehow. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but we'll get to that. Um, so the idea is obviously that you have this on the outside. You swipe the door, it opens, um, and you can go in, and then it locks again after a period of time. So, and then there's this unit here, which you mount and you hook everything up into these different connections, depending on what you want to do. So in my case, I have a, well, actually at the top here, you can see there's three LAN ports and then there's the power. So power over PoE, power over Ethernet, that's kind of cool. So I can power it with the switch, which is right there. Um, uh, then there's the, the basic um, access, so you plug that into there. If you have, if you use the basic one, you plug that with a cable into here. The pro one, you plug into there, and then you can plug a camera into it as well. So you can, uh, you can see who's at the door uh, or something like that. So those are the things that you get with it. Um, I should just say you can win, if you do this before the end of the year, before end of 2020, I believe it is, uh, and you post a video just like this, you get, I think you win, Create a video, share with us first thousand entries. Okay, I think it's still uh, available. Uh, you win a hundred dollars. So it's open to residents of the 50 US states, which is not here because I'm in Australia. But anyway, I'll still submit it because it's kind of cool. Um, so, so that kind of gives you an idea. That goes somewhere. It's supposed to go on the wall, but again, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of the look of it. It looks a bit like something that should be hidden in a cupboard. Yeah. Um, but obviously, if I go in, I have a swap card on the outside. If I want to get out, the door is locked. So I've bought this little button here, which is kind of cool. And it does such a nice tactile feedback. Um, you could probably put this on the other side as well and swipe every time, but I thought uh, I want to press a button to get out. I don't need to swipe every time. Um, and I got this on eBay or Amazon, I can't remember. Um, not expensive. And then the actual lock for the door, because I don't know if you can tell, but that's kind of an old door from this wool shit that my office is in. So I've bought a magnetic lock um, that goes on the top of the door. So that's the top bit that goes outside the door. Uh, so that goes on the door like that. And then there's a thing that goes on the other side of the door that sits here and there's a little pin that comes and goes down. So that'll lock the door. That's the idea. All right, I'm first gonna set up a test rig to make sure everything works together before I install it. So that's next. Hello. Um, here's my setup, my test setup. Um, as you can tell, this is a different lock because um, the other one didn't work. I had to send it back and get another one. I couldn't get the same one. So now I've got this magnet thing. Um, so here's my, my test trick. I'll show you how it works. So first of all, we'll close the door, put the lock on, 
but that's now on. I can't get it off. It's like properly stuck on. So, first of all, we can use the card. And I can say here. Welcome, Lars. <laughs> that's me. And I can now open the door, take the magnet off. There's a little click. I don't know if you can hear it, but there was a little um, relay inside that clicks back on. So now it's when I close the door and it's, it's on again. I can't get it off. So that's one way. There's a little camera up here as well in there in the pro unit of, uh, of the axis and that will um, whenever someone uses a swipe card will actually take a picture or film whoever's coming in and out so you get a little bit more security there um, the other thing that I can do as well is I can use this button which is going to be on the wall here I'll show you in a minute I can press that Welcome. and then I can open the door again so that's my, my setup and there now it's closed so this button is set into um, there's an REL R -E -L sys, um, um, function here or, or input as well as power because we need power for the light. So this is the signal and the normally closed um, that goes into here. And when you press the button it opens the circuit and the thing knows what to do. Um, these things up here are just for, for power to the, to the light. Um, this obviously is hooked into my server cabinet which is just up there. and um, and this is put on with a with a cable. So this is the test rig. So it all works now. And next is now to install it all. Yeah. Before we get into drilling holes and stuff, I'll just show you how to set it up. So here's the Unify Access uh, start. I've just installed it. So we're going to search for our elements. It's scanning for devices. So I've obviously hooked up the Access Hub to my switch. And here it's found what it just calls the main door. We can change the name, which I will do now, because this is the office door. And then a floor, which I just have one floor, so we just click next. We can set up an access schedule if you wanted to, so we can have certain times of day where you cannot get in through it, and it'll deny uh, any card or any anyone trying to get into the to the building or through the door. I'm just going to keep it open all times. Review. Yes, these are the things we want to set up, and then we just click finish and it sets up real quick like there's not much to it I only have one lock as well but now it's up and running more or less it says there are some little problems so here's a popped up it's ready to add it's found my um, access pro unit the one that is uh, going to be outside the door and I can now adopt that and set it up I go into my elements and we can see that I now have an office door which is my main uh, access hub I'm just gonna do a quick firmware update here and through magic of editing that went real quick here is the element that I can add I need to choose the direction of the door so this is an enter and um, this is on the outside I'm swiping to enter the building I can click locate and it will then start flashing uh, if you look at the unit so we want to add that element to the setup and now I have the access hub and I have the office door uh, pro unit so now they're set up and there's different uh, options on the left here we're going to go to users there's just me for the moment we'll set up another user a bit later on i'm going to uh, apply or, or assign a card rather to this user for um, for accessing the door so now we click the select on this office door then i swipe the card on the pro unit and it will then uh, basically code that card to me and it'll allow me to enter so I can choose to assign it to an existing user, which is me, there, and then from then on I now have that card and whenever that's swiped that will uh, then log that I have uh, entered that, that lock or I've opened that lock. I'm going to show you a little bit later on a bit more detail about how to set up a user as well with a swipe card, uh, but that's it for now. Pretty quick setup really, and uh, let's install stuff. Alright, so this is um, the stuff we got to put up. Um, so the, the the button's going to go there, which means that we have to get up into here to draw the line, the wires down, and then put it over in the server cabinet, but um, I'll show you where we have to go. Yep, so here's my office, and then here, we're going to go up in the attic. Bear with me. Oh, here we are. So this is the attic space, which is not very glamorous, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to put you down. Hang on. There we go. You can sit there for a minute while I climb up. Okay, so 
up amongst all the bird poop and possums living up here for the moment, about to be evicted. So here's some cabling that's still not sorted completely, but that's for all the other projects with all the Unify stuff. I gotta go in here. And I'm gonna climb over there. This, ow! Oh, uh, there's a bit of cardboard here for my old knees. And then I gotta go in here, and in here, and in this hole, and that's where the wire's gonna come down. So, um, yeah. Bit of drilling and digging involved, and then the wire comes from there. That was where all the oil wires go, and that's where the server cabinet is. And then obviously eventually I'm going to sort out all these wires and neaten them up, but I'll wait till I have all of them. Lovely. So to make me feel like uh, Bob the Builder, there are going to be a lot of holes drilled here. So here's the first one. Uh, I've taken the sound off because it sounds like a drill. Funny that. And uh, I drilled this hole based on the template that came with the Outdoor Pro unit. And this is obviously, <laughs> be sure you know where to drill because it's kind of hard to patch up. Not impossible, but yeah, no one likes patching holes. And once I have that hole, I can then install the outdoor unit. Um, so that's one hole. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful hole. Then I have to create another uh, smaller hole for the magnet. So this is where the wires go up uh, from the actual magnet lock so that I can uh, turn it on and off through the access hub. And it also needs a hole from the other side. It's like an L-shaped hole in this case because there's a bit of a weird cavity. And this was a real peach to get up there. Before I show you the finished result, let me just show you how to set up a new user for the system. So I'm back in the Unify Access dashboard. I then go to Users uh, on the left-hand side. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, that's the identity. This is the, uh, the app that'll eventually allow you to open the door with your phone. But let's go to Users. And I will uh, add a new user. I'm going to add my other half, Fiona, because she also needs access to, we have both have an office up here. And then, so obviously I put in her name, Fiona and Lindsay, this is her name. And uh, that's it. I wanna also, I actually wanna assign a card to her so that she can get in. So I'm gonna add a new card from this menu. And then I'll uh, show you here what how it works. So I say assign, I then run out to the door uh, from my office where I was recording this and then I place the card on that reader as you can see here I'm coming out the door placing the card on the reader and then it uh, accepts it in the Unify Access dashboard and now that is assigned well actually I'm going to click assign and then it's assigned to Fiona and I can then add her as a user and she has her own NFC card as well it really is that simple there they are both cards all right now it's more or less finished, but um, yeah, I'll just talk you through it. So there's holes here, that's why I'm saying more or less, because I haven't actually fixed the holes, because now you can see how it all works. And patching holes is boring. So um, here's the button on the inside. Uh, here's the cable actually for the outside. Uh, there's a little uh, wire there, I'll show you all in a minute. And up here is the server cabinet. So let me just give you the grand tour. All right, so first of all, I'll show you up here. Now this is where I decided to put the hub for access. It's there because I don't think it's very pretty. So it lies in the bottom of my server rack here, as you can see, which is just fine. Um, now the, the wires that are in here, so you see the red and the blue, which is over there, that goes to the actual door lock on the magnet. Um, then there's all the other wires here, which is uh, these two for the signal to the, uh, to the door lock. Uh, to the button and the power for the button uh, and up here obviously is the poe that's the one that goes up to this port here on my uh, switch and then there's the actual outdoor unit as well and it all goes up through there little hole there going up through the ceiling space and across so it's all out the way all right so that's that part of it and then we have over here here's the button so i can actually open the door so if I press that, well, actually, I'll show you here. I can't open the door. It's a bit wobbly at the bottom because the magnet's at the top, but I'll fix that later on. So if I press the button now, there we go. I can now open the door just fine. So I have here is the magnet lock that sits there on the door, or the door frame. There's actually a wire that goes up there, which is what comes out here. Again, that was a very fun job getting that through there. 
that goes up to the ceiling and that's the one that goes over to the um, to the server cabinet over there and then on the door is the other side which is what uh, locks the door obviously so uh, we'll go outside lock the door here the door and out here so now we can see the doors locked yeah can't open there's me hello um, here's the uh, the outdoor unit and I now have a swipe card that I can then use so it says my name and everything, and now I can open the door. And that's it. So it all works nicely. Obviously I've got to patch up those holes, get the thing in the, in the wall. I've had lots of tips on how not to do 18 different holes to get the, the cord in there, but anyway, that's for next time. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, any questions, let me know. And uh, as always on YouTube, um, I'll just put you down here so I can do it properly. Like my video and subscribe.